Jurgen Klopp put his Liverpool players through their paces on Christmas Eve ahead of the club's Boxing Day clash against Newcastle. Victory over Wolves on Friday moved the Reds four points clear of title challengers Manchester City. And with Pep Guardiola's men losing on Saturday, Liverpool now have some breathing space. Newcastle, however, won't be an easy opponent having kept clean sheets in their two previous games. Rafa Benitez will also return to the club he won the Champions League with and as a competitor he would surely love to get one over his former side. Here's what we noticed from Liverpool training. 1. Trent's back. Trent Alexander-Arnold is expected to be fit for the clash against Newcastle after recovering from an injury. The defender picked up the foot problem during Liverpool's 1-0 win over Napoli earlier this month. It hasn't stopped him going to the games, though. Alexander-Arnold was in the stands with the fans on Friday night as Liverpool beat Wolves 2-0. 2. Shaqiri's working his backside off. If you thought a brace against Manchester United would guarantee you a place in Liverpool's starting lineup, you'd be wrong. Shaqiri had to make do with a place on the bench once again as Liverpool took on Wolves. The Switzerland forward looked pretty beat in training. Evidently, he's doing all he can to get in the starting 11. 3. Salah's all smiles. There were some rumours that because Mohamed Salah wasn't celebrating his goals like he used to that he's unhappy. Nonsense. Salah has scored five goals in his past four games and is very much over the shoulder injury that was holding him back at the start of the season. Look at how happy he is in training. 4. No spills no thrills. Following his blunder against United, Allison was keen to ensure there were no more mistakes against Wolves. It may have just been coincidence but in the build-up to his spill at Anfield the Brazilian was being heralded as the best keeper in the Premier League. If he wants to earn that kind of praise again he will have to make sure he has a mistake-free performance against Newcastle. 5. Plenty of work to be done. This is the third time Liverpool have topped the Premier League table at Christmas. The two other occasions were in 2008 and 2013. Both times they failed to go on and win the league. Klopp will know being this year's Christmas number one means nothing, there's still plenty of work ahead. 6. Christmas Eve means nothing. Many in the UK will have been blessed with having Christmas Eve off, but just as many have been dragged into work because it's a Monday. Liverpool's players were also asked to work on Christmas Eve, but for good reason. Every clash now including the one against Newcastle on Boxing Day, is a must-win. Every day must be spent preparing and taken seriously.